Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're thinking of gifting a telescope to someone, then you come to the right video. Most likely you don't know anything about telescopes and you want to give a gift to that special person who expressed interest in stargazing. It may be your kid, spouse, fiance, or any other person who is special to you. So before you go and buy some random telescope, you should watch this video till the end and then make a decision. The very first thing you need to think about is what level of astronomy your special person is. Is the person you're gifting a telescope a beginner, intermediate, or advanced level in astronomy? Knowing this is important because it will help you decide your budget. It will also help the person receiving the gift to make the most out of your gift. Because if your gift of a beginner level telescope to an intermediate level astronomer, then chances are they already have a good intermediate level telescope and your gifted telescope will be not much use for them. If you don't know the level that you need to figure it out, first by asking them indirectly. Let's say you know that they're a complete beginner and do not even have a telescope. Then going with the beginner telescope is a good choice. Usually most parents come under this category who wants to give their child a telescope to get them started with astronomy. So here are some beginner's telescopes. 1. Celestron Travelscope 70mm This telescope is designed for both terrestrial and astronomical observations. This is a lightweight travel friendly telescope. You can start using it within minutes after opening the box. With a 70mm aperture telescope, you can see the moon, rings of Saturn, and some bright celestial objects. This is a great pocket-friendly beginner telescope. 2. Celestron Star Sense Explorer LT-80AZ This telescope is designed by Celestron for getting new people interested in astronomy. Getting started with this telescope is very easy. All you have to do is put your telescope on a tripod. Mount your phone on the adapter on the telescope. Open the Star Sense Explorer app and that's it. The app will guide you around the moon, planets, and stars. As beginners are not really familiar with the night sky, so this is very convenient for beginners to get started with such a telescope. Intermediate astronomers usually already have a basic beginner telescope, so they want to improve from their basic telescope. So here are some telescopes for intermediate astronomers. The first is the Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT, and the second is the Celestron Nexstar 6SE. Both of these telescopes are computerized telescopes. One is with a 5-inch aperture and the second is a 6-inch aperture. They both are suitable for planetary observation and deep space observation. Because they both are computerized telescopes, they're a little expensive. Nexstar 6SE is costlier than the 130SLT because it has better optics and performance. We've made a detailed video of a comparison of these two telescopes on this channel. You should check the link in the description. If you want a similar size non-computerized telescope, then you can buy any Dobsonian telescope. It'll be cheaper than computerized, but Dobsonian telescopes are heavy and difficult to move around, so do keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the advanced level telescopes. Most of the advanced levels of astronomers know exactly what they want. They probably have a good intermediate level of the telescope, which has around a 6-inch aperture. If you want to buy an advanced level telescope, then you have to have a higher budget. So do keep that in mind. Here are some telescopes for advanced levels of astronomers. First are the Celestron Nexstar 8SE and the second is the Celestron Evolution 9.25 inch. Both of these telescopes are great. The 8SE has an 8 inch aperture and the Evolution has a 9.25 inch aperture. These telescopes are good for observing planets, galaxy and deep space objects. They're great for astrophotography as well. You cannot go wrong by going with these telescopes. But the thing is they are very expensive. The Evolution 9.25 is costlier than the 8SE because of its bigger aperture size. We also made a video on these two telescopes, so do check it out on our channel or just check the links in the description. So these are some of the telescopes you should consider for gifting someone. If you are 100% sure that the person is really passionate about stargazing and if the budget is not an issue, then giving them an advanced level telescope is actually a very good idea even if they are a beginner or intermediate level. Because as they are passionate about stargazing, they'll use the telescope very frequently, and these advanced level telescopes will serve them long term for about 8 to 10 years. If you didn't like the telescopes mentioned in this video and want to buy a different telescope, then the most important factor you should consider while buying a telescope is its aperture size and sturdy mount. A bigger aperture gives sharp images and sturdy mount offers good stability. So, I hope this video helped you to pick a telescope for your loved ones. If it did, then give a like to this video. You can also consider buying us a cup of coffee here.